This is Madden 19. I'm the coach. You're locked into the NFL on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be a great matchup between the New England Patriots and the Kansas City Chiefs. With that, we're off to Arrowhead for the call from Kansas City. We'll hand it over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, from one of the loudest venues in the NFL, there's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. A minute ago, Arrowhead was rocking. The offense led out by all-pro tight end Travis Kelsey as the Chiefs get set to match up with the New England Patriots. I'm Brandon Gunn. He's Charles Davis. Full disclosure, we both have mittens. We both have coats on up here in the booth. This one, it's going to be interesting. I've got the long johns, the socks, the boots, you name it. You know me in cold weather. We don't get along all that well. But these games are always interesting because you never know how it's going to play out. One slip, someone's going for 80 yards, and you could lose a game. What we can see of the ball appears to be teed up and ready to go. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. This one fielded at the five. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. Patrick Mahomes bringing out the Kansas City Chiefs. Of course, they had the week of rest. Now they get to take on the Colts. And we all know what Mahomes has done this year. The question is, can the magic continue into the playoffs? And truthfully, there's no reason why it can't. This young man has hopped over every hurdle put in his way in his first year as a starter. And he's been not just average. It's been spectacular most of the time. Even when his team has been down, he's rallied them and given them chances to win. The MVP frontrunner, I can't wait to see him take on the Colts. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Three Blue 45. They go play action here on first down. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. Well, from an offense's perspective, that sure was pretty because the corner route is extremely difficult to defend from my perspective. What we just saw there, is that sort of the evolution of the tight end position? Yeah, I think it is because more and more tight ends are being treated like wide receivers. These are some agile players who can make a play in any spot on the field. Mahomes now on first down. To the right side, it's Kelsey. A really nice gain of 25 yards. So the same tandem connecting on back-to-back -back throws to start the game. And maybe throwing the scouting report off just a little bit. That's not exactly what they think is going to be their number one receiver, but he's producing already early in this game. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here we go now. Blue 45. Ware takes the give from Mahomes. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. That opening drive rhythm continues right into play number three. Whatever they decided that they wanted to run before the game, it's working pretty well for them right now. Moving the ball downfield at a nice rate. And guess what? I think the chain crew might have to get a little oxygen over there. They have to keep moving downfield with first downs on each play. A first trip to the red zone for KC. This is first and goal from about the eight. Now Mahomes giving to Ware on the draw. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. A nice pickup of six there to get him closer to the end zone, and it'll be second and goal. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback, and no better way to do it 
than to establish the running game early. From the two now, second and goal. Here's Mahomes to throw. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Chris Conley, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs are going to take a first-quarter lead. And it was a tight window. He knew he had to rocket that thing in there. He got it done. And when you're able to complete one like that, your confidence has to just go sky high. You just mentioned it. Tight window. Zings it in there despite excellent coverage. Result, touchdown. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. Extra point through the snowflakes, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. now to kick this one away that'll be taken in the end zone and no run back here this will be a touchback and it comes out to the 25 yard line Tom Brady and the Patriots offense getting set for divisional round matchup with the Chargers but you know recently Tom Brady he said I'm not only thinking about this year I have goals to play next year and beyond that so look he threw for 4,000 again this season seventh time in the last eight years and he's a bionic man I guess I guess so he has really done a great job of not just taking care of himself he only had the one season that he had a serious injury the rest of the time he knows how to bounce back was he say pliability <laughs> leads to availability top the 500 touchdown mark 517 with 29 touchdown passes this year for his career Brady now on first down. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll bring up a second and 11. That was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He can make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. By 20, 380. They'll run it here. This is James White. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. Partner, I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. So from the 36 now, first and 10. By 20! By 20! Sony Michelle, his first carry. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. It's a six yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Second down, Michelle. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. 
Now let's give you a look here at the New England offense. Well, we all know that Rob Gronkowski is one of the premier tight ends in the NFL, but what makes him that way is the size. We see that. The ability to run, he's faster than a lot of wide receivers. The agility, he's almost like a power forward in basketball. And the competitiveness. When that ball is released, he decides it's his and no one else's. From the gun on third down, Brady looking for Gronkowski, and he's got him complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 42-yard line. On the handoff, it's Michelle. And he's going to be brought down at about the 33-yard line. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Give. This is Michelle looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. And let's take a look at the defensive starters for Kansas City. After all he's been through, I want to talk about Eric Berry, and it was really tough for any NFL fan to see him go down the opener in New England last year. The one thing we know about him, he's resilient. This is a man who's beat cancer to come back and play at an all-pro level. And why? He can cover in the deep zones. He drops down in the box in the run game. And he can blitz the quarterback. You name it, Eric Berry can do it. Brady to throw on third and one. And that is incomplete. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it. And that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. So now on fourth down, on comes Steven Goskowski to try and get the pass three. From the left hash, it's an even 50-yard attempt. And Goskowski's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted, but I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yep. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Mm -hmm. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. This one taken from the seven. And a good return. He's across the 35-yard line, right around the 36. Chiefs coming back onto the field, as we noted earlier. Going to take on the Colts this weekend. 12-4 and four in the regular season. You get the first round by number one offense in the NFL. That's the good part, but the defense has left something to be desired. Yeah, they rank 31st. That's just one step from the bottom in terms of total defense in the NFL. But they do rush the passer very well. Tied for the league lead in sacks. Their thing is, can they get a couple of key takeaways? and just give the ball back to Mahomes and win a lot of shootouts. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Almost able to intercept it. That's one he would have liked to have held on to on this first drive. Instead, second down. 
This is the offense we're going to see coming up in this one, and Travis Kelsey will be key. What a tremendous weapon he is, especially in the red zone. Knows how to find the end zone when running his routes. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Where and very little room to maneuver. He'll get this down to about the 39. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. Partner, your thoughts on this D-line? I love a unit that can control the run and get after the passer. This is an all-around terrific defensive front. Hard to move the ball against them on the ground, and then when you want to throw it, look out. Here they come after the quarterback. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Right. Here we go. Three. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And this is caught by Watkins. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Mahomes to the former Rams, Sammy Watkins for the Kansas City first. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back and... He's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him. And I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly Three, hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he 390. might be locked in for this one. On the ground, this is Ware. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Lawrence Guy able to bring him down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Here we go. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. Looking left side for Watkins and he's got it. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. When you decide to run a hitch route, it really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. They face a third and four after that last completion gets them six. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And able to find Conley. And a nice gain of 21 yards. I know it looks like fun to guys like you and me. We're up here in the booth and everyone watching on television, but are you kidding me? In the snow, that type of a play, in the cold, you know that that had to hurt to make that play. I'm just mad he didn't make a snow angel while he was down there. Opportunity missed. Play fake here on first down. And this is caught at the 8. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Had the offense humming on the first drive. Not much has changed here on drive number two. No, and I think a lot of times confidence just really kicks in for a team. They may have been confident going into the game, but once you prove it on a drive, it's hard to get out of that mindset, isn't it? And look, let's face it. We can always lock in on the skill position, guys. Those big fellas up front, they're really making this offense go early in the game. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Hey, here we go. They go play action. Now Mahomes. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them. They're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off.
Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And this is caught by Watkins. Touchdown, Kansas City. Sammy Watkins from eight yards out. And the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. And partner, they've got a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. Butker on for the PAT. The extra point splits the uprights, and that pushes the lead up to 11. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all, and it winds up with the Chiefs hitting pay dirt. now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. All right, as the Patriots come back out here, take me to school on their upcoming round two game against the L.A. Chargers. How does this one shake down? Hey, you and I are in the same classroom. We're both sitting right up front trying to get schooled on this ourselves. But I think the Chargers coming in hot, feeling good about their victory on the road in Baltimore. Remember, they won 12 games in the regular season. Beat the number one seed, Kansas City, on their home field. They're very confident, led by Phillip Rivers. But New England, getting that week off by being the number two seed, and the Chargers going to their place. A lot of people are going to rely on New England's experience and history to carry them home to a victory. I think the Chargers are coming awfully high. I wouldn't be surprised at all to see the Chargers pull this off. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be second and 11. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that, got to find a way to audible to something a little more advantageous. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Wait, 20! Wait, 20! They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Illegal block in the back. Offense. So this will be accepted as it moves Still the down. offense backwards. Pass the 25 to the 27. An eight-yard gain, so that gets him halfway there. Now they're left with a third and eight more. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. And an extra DB here for the Chiefs on third down. Pass situation. Wait, 20. Wait, 20. Yeah. From the gun, it's Brady. And he is going to go down. They sack him on the final play of the first quarter. get 
settled in here and time expires on the first quarter of action. 14-3, that's our score, and we're back to Arrowhead after this. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Patriots in possession to begin quarter number two. They are, however, facing a fourth down situation. On fourth down, on now is the lefty Ryan Allen to punt. Tyreek Hill back deep for Kansas City. This is taken at the 18. 21 yards. Well done on the return. And it's Chiefs football. First and 10. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Holmes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Hey, here we go now. Green, 39. Green, 39. Uh -huh. They go play fake. Mahomes. And that's incomplete. His favorite target, Travis Kelsey, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. Well, with that incompletion, Charles, a big story, as it always is come January. Head coaching changes around the NFL. If, if you count the situations in Cleveland, in Green Bay, that's eight openings all told. And that's about the number people were starting to predict somewhere around midseason. I think out of all of them, the Marvin Lewis situation in Cincinnati, he had been there for 16 years. Many thought he might stay, but it seemed like it was a mutual deal where he decided to step down. But out of all of them, there may be one or two that may recirculate within the league and be a head coach at another spot. Tough for Steve Wilkes after just one season to be let go. Yeah, that doesn't happen very often in this league. He was the unfortunate recipient of way too many injuries on his team. Never got a chance to get off the ground. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Caught here by Conley. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. He's up over 50 yards receiving now in this first half. It's a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. You mentioned very early on the need to establish a running game for this young QB. They really haven't been able to do that, though, in the first half. So that means what in halftime? Adjustments, Adjustments time, right? Figure out what they are. Figure out the things that they really want to accomplish and who to run behind. Which are your better blockers? Find those guys and get in that direction. Here we go. On second down, here's Mahomes. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. The Chiefs on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This will be third and five. Here we go now. Green, 39. Green, 39. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And this is going to be incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they were unsuccessful.
Now Harrison Butker for the field goal try. This from 54 yards away. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. So after the missed long field goal attempt, this offense set up nicely at the 44-yard line. On play action, now Brady. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Reggie Ragland in there to drop him. And it'll be a loss of about eight. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure it out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability and a sack resulted. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Working from the gun, it's Brady. Got a man complete, it's Chris Hogan. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. One thing I can say pretty safely... That route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-arm guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. Throwing is Brady on third down. And he's got an open man. It's Gronkowski. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. Ah, yes, Brady to Gronk. You think these two are in sync? Without a doubt. And look, they both understand what they can do for each other. Gronk knows if he gets open, the ball's going to be there. And Tom Brady knows what a great security blanket Gronk is. When all else fails, you find big 87. Let's go, let's go. So they go from one 42-yard line to the other as they come up now first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And an alley to run. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. On first down, Brady. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. And I think the Chiefs have it. They do. Parker, I don't care how long he plays. Anytime there's a fumble involving Tom Brady. You think the Raiders are involved? <laughs> you think the Raiders are involved, you think it's snowing, and immediately you hear the words, tuck rule. And now the tuck rule doesn't exist anymore, but that always comes back up with Tom Brady, doesn't it? It absolutely does, even here, even now. And out come the Chiefs now. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a little time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Ready, blue 45, blue. 
They run it here. Where? And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. to throw on second down. He's got the hookup with Conley. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Starting to rack up the yardage here in this first half. Five catches now and a first down. Mahomes now 11 to 15 through the air. Here's first and 10. Green, green 90, green 90. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. And he'll work his way inside the 30 now to the 28. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down that fits the bill so we go now Mahomes gonna throw throw left side taken in by Hill throw nearly picked and maybe lucky there. This guy doesn't drop many defensively. Third down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. Mahomes looks to throw on third down, and that is incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way, a dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. And they're going to fake it. He wants to throw it here. And all oh, the gamble fails. It's incomplete. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. Offense marching back onto the field, and our focus shifts here to Sony Michelle. They've given him some touches. They haven't had a lot of success on the ground. Do you maybe keep going to that well, or do you mix it up more? I think you mix it up more, try to loosen things up. Get the defense to react to other people, other plays, but don't forget about it. That's your horse. You know, Secretariat lost twice in his career. <laughs> so educational. That's very true, kids. Look it up. Brady and the Patriots now first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. By 20! 20! By 20! Throwing on first down is Brady. His throw incomplete. He was looking for Gronk that time, and it's second down. An exciting week with a divisional round coming up on the NFC side of things, Charles. Dallas at L.A., the Rams, Philadelphia at New Orleans. What do you think? Well, I can't wait because Dallas at the Los Angeles Rams. The Rams feel like they've gotten their mojo back down the stretch on offense. Dallas feels like they can pound and bruise against anyone with Ezekiel Elliott carrying the load. That's going to be a marquee game. And how about Philadelphia and New Orleans, the defending Super Bowl champs. Here comes Nick Foles again. New Orleans, the number one seed at home. They don't lose at home in the Drew Brees, Sean Payton era in the playoffs. This is going to be fun. Remember, they played earlier this year, and New Orleans wiped out Philadelphia. And you'll be calling that game. Enjoy it, partner. Can't wait. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave them with third and still seven yards to go. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. 
To throw on third down. Brady. This is White on the screen. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sends that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. First down. That is taken down. A chief sack. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Shotgun now for Brady. Over the middle, Dorsett. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam go, going. Go. New England on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and 11. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We're back to Arrowhead after this. A reminder, coming up at halftime, while the two of us head for warmer areas of the press box, we'll be sending you to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half. New England on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and 11. Hey, hey, hey. You got three. Wait, 20! From the gun, Brady. And this is going to be incomplete. Seems like this defense, especially the secondary, has really been contesting about every throw in this first half. Remind me of a good half-court defensive basketball team. Every time a pass is thrown, they're right there and gets the good defensive position, able to affect the play. Here's Ryan Allen now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. 37 yards on the punt with no return, and the Chiefs are going to take over with a long field ahead and a first and 10. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. First and ten, here's Mahomes. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Well, while we have a second, let's look ahead at the divisional round of the AFC. Of course, Indianapolis and Kansas City kicking things off. And Charles, the Colts 4-0 all-time versus KC in the playoffs. They're becoming a pretty trendy pick. They really are. And a lot of it is because of the strength of their offensive and defensive lines. Not to mention how Andrew Luck is playing in his comeback season here in 2018. But Kansas City, the number one seed, 
They're seeking to break that trend of losing games in the playoffs at home that they shouldn't. This is another opportunity with Patrick Mahomes leading the way. Speaking of losing games in the playoffs, Phillip Rivers and the Chargers 0-7, including the playoffs against New England with Tom Brady at quarterback. Can they stem the tide? This is their opportunity. No better chance for the Chargers to get it done. As I always say to you, if not now, Chargers, when, even though it is going to New England. now on first down he couldn't quite hold it got hit ball pops out incomplete now that we sit in the postseason let's talk about some of these awards we've been hitting on all year charles mvp what do you think well i think it's gonna come down to patrick mahomes the quarterback of kansas city drew Brees, quarterback new orleans and aaron donald the defensive tackle for the los angeles rams I ultimately think that Mahomes wins this award. I think he distanced himself late in the season from Breeze, and it's hard for a defender to win the MVP. Rookie of the year, Barkley, or does Mayfield have a shot? Personally, I would give it to Barkley because he's been there all 16, but Mayfield made Cleveland relevant, put them in a position where maybe we were even talking about the playoffs, and boy, the excitement level has really ramped up. I would not be surprised at all if he walked away with the award. Lastly, what about Coach of the Year? Does Frank Reich have a shot after starting 1-5 and five in Indy? He should be in that conversation, shouldn't he? But I think ultimately, it comes down to Matt Nagy in Chicago and Anthony Lynn with the Los Angeles Chargers. I think Nagy's going to win it because the Chargers were picked in preseason to actually win their division or contend. The Bears were not. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Here we go now. They'll run now with Ware. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Now before this second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. They stay on the ground this time it's Williams and stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three and now before this first down play we're going to get a timeout here as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half and we are back here I'm Brandon going alongside Charles Davis so the offense takes a timeout and now we're set to get going Try and get it home with Sherman, the fullback. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. He'll get it up the middle, and that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. He lost four there, and it's third down. And before they can run this third down play, we're going to get a timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. And welcome back, the offensive unit. They took the timeout, and now they get set to line up as we resume action.
The Chiefs on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and goal. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Mahomes hit, he lost the football. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters. There you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter, here we go. Not much has changed since we left you at halftime. The snow still continuing to fall as we are back underway. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 at their own 22. Wait, 20! Wait, 20! They start the second half with Michelle on the ground. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. The All-Pro Justin Houston in on the tackle. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. That catch good for five. It's third down. I'm guessing, partner, that if we're in the huddle with the Patriots right now, there's not a single guy that thinks they have any chance of coming back in this one, especially not with Tom Brady. <laughs> yeah, who's Tom Brady? What's he done in the past as far as comebacks are concerned? They are down right now, but that can evaporate quickly with him in the huddle. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Brady going to try and throw on third down. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. D Ford bringing the pressure again, and that is his third sack here tonight. My man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching, witching hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night. Here's Ryan Allen now, as he's on to punt for New England. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Oh, an absolutely filthy juke. He's got some space now. Illegal block in the back. Return team. And that negates a pretty decent punt down. return. And the goal is to gain a first down on a punt return, which is 10 yards. This was much more than that, but it is going to come back due to the illegal block in the back. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and 10. Here we go now. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. They'll leave this for where? 
A gain of four on the play, and that'll bring up second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Here we go now. Green 90. Green 90. They go play action. Now Mahomes. He'll find his man on the comeback route. Complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. First down for the Chiefs. Solid chunk of yardage. 17 on the play. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Throwing on second down. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. And with that catch, he goes over 100 yards receiving on the night. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right? Safety valve. Throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. So first and 10 now from the 30. Four down, four down. Ready. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Spencer Ware. 30 yards, and the Chiefs add on to their lead. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit, get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation, but I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game being on the second half, no matter what, with his first five minutes, first three, whatever, this was a big score to start the second half. Butker now to add the extra point. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is up to 18 now. So that drive spanned five plays. And it's finished off by a Spencer Ware touchdown run. Butker now to kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. 
He doesn't even exist. <laughs> He's not a team anymore. I just cut him. All right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this uh, drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his <laughs> fault. But, so, hey, listen, there's, some, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Wait, 20! Wait, 20! They begin with Michelle on the ground. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Now Brady throwing on second down. Allen's got it over the middle. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now a play fake here on first down. The throw left side complete to Hogan. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Give him 15 yards on that one, and New England has a first down. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Three out, three out. Now a first down carry. It's Michelle. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. It's Michelle once again. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. They'll run it. This is Michelle. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. Take this one down to about the 23-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally 
and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. By 20! By 20! Now they'll throw with Brady. He's to the 10. And he's caught right at the 10-yard line. And he gets it all the way down to the three. A good pick up there of 20 yards. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They come out here in the eye. And they'll turn to a power game to try to get in. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. It's the fullback. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots make some inroads here on that deficit. And boy, that was a heavy set. I think they had three tight ends out there. The fullback, they just, you knew what they were going to do. Yeah, they weren't trying to fool anybody at all, were they? There was none of this show you heavy set, bootleg it out. Nah, nah, nah. Big guys up front, hand it to the big guy in the backfield. Now, Steven Goskowski on for the extra point. Goskowski the extra point, and it makes the score 21 to 10. So that drive consumes nine plays all told, and it ends with a three-yard scoring run. Goskowski now out to kick it away. This one taken from the seven. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10, just shy of the 30. Here we go! Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Well, Charles, the all-pro team was announced a Friday before the playoffs started. Aaron Donald, the only unanimous choice. Let's see, the Chiefs had four, Bears had four. What, what stuck out to you about the all-pro team? Well, it's such a great year for Drew Brees, a quarterback for New Orleans, the number one seed in the NFC, yet he's only second-team all-pro mm. because Patrick Mahomes had a magical season in Kansas City and deserved to be the number one guy. How about the Chicago Bears? Going from worst to first in the NFC North, four players making the all-pro team led by Khalil Mack, and then when you talk about Rookies, the Colts had two that made it in Quentin Nelson, their offensive guard, and Darius Leonard, their linebacker. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. The Chiefs on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This will be third and five. Here we go. Blue 45. Blue 45. Cut. From the gun, it's Mahomes. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. And on that one, the protection just broke down. 
You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. Here's Dustin Colquitt now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. A big kick, 50 yards that time with a return of four. And the Patriots take over. Patriots now first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Brady, and it's incomplete. The coverage good that time by Kendall Fuller. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it. If you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock down, but away and bring up second down. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. We got, wait 20, wait 20. They'll go left side here with Michelle. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. But these guys are gonna chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage would be found. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. It's Patriot football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter. New England on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is going to be third and 13. Brady going to throw. He'll check this one down to Michelle. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Well, they pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Here's Ryan Allen now as he's on to punt for New England. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. And now here comes Kansas City. Now, the previous drive they punted, but that was just the first time they've had to do so in this game. And when they turn on the game film, the coaches will rant about this, right? They'll say, oh, God, we got to move the ball, guys. We can't punt the ball away. But they have to keep smiles off their faces because that's the first time in the game they've had to do so. They've moved it quite well. They'll overall be happy with what they've seen. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 20. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here we go. Blue 45. Blue 45. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It'll go as a gain of 10 and a Kansas City first down. 
Yeah, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. There we go now. Blue. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And he's going to take this one up only to about the 44-yard line. And after getting tackled, he's still down and looking very slow to get up. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. Despite the lead here in the fourth, they're still taking shots. Not content to sit on this lead at all. And to me, it raises the question of what's right in this game nowadays. Do you sit on the ball and run it because you have enough of a lead? Or do you try and extend it because you always feel like the other team can come back? Extend it. Have some fun. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead. You've got to protect it. And he's taking chances, putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? Here's Dustin Colquitt now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. So the Patriots coming out now, and down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Wait, 20. Wait, 20. From the gun, it's Brady. To the left side and complete for Julian Edelman. And they work this well up field across the 45. A good pick up there, 26 yards. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one possession game. Yes. Gotta get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Brady now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. Unable to get it to Gronkowski that time. And that'll bring up second down. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch. Is the arm there? The leg's still there. This has been a tough game. Wait, 20! 
Brady again here on second and ten. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Gronkowski the intended target, and it's third down. If you're a defender, one of the fun things about playing zone defenses, especially in today's football, is that it's not as static as it was in the good old days, meaning you just dropped to a point and reacted to the football. Now you end up with a lot of man-to-man -man principles once you get into your zone defense. In other words, get to your assignment and then locate a guy coming into your area, and then you end up covering him almost man for man. That allows him to make more plays on the football like the one we just saw there. Throwing is Brady on third down. And he'll have his man. That's Edelman. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple scores. And they've really got to get some yards in chunks. And they know the defense doesn't want to give those up. But they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? So here's a first and 10 at the 38. My 20! My 20! Right, we got Brady now on first down. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Brady will try again on second down. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Allen. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. New England on third down. Not quite 50%. Four for nine. This time they face a third and two. So the offense a little antsy. The flag comes out. And a five-yard penalty. False start. Offense. So that'll back them up five. Still third down. And a manageable third down becomes a lot less manageable. Third and seven after the false start. My 20, my 20. Again, it's Brady. This is right on the screen. White's got a first down and more. And finally down at the nine-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and can serve as much as possible. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Try to pound it in here with Michelle. And finding room to work, he's down to the two-yard line. That's a gain of seven, and we'll leave them with second and goal coming up. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And yeah, now they're looking for the big boys to get them in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive where they'll be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game. Michelle on an island by himself in the backfield. My second 20. and goal. My 20. Here's Brady to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots! 
Matthew Slater, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots have cut it back within a score. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Three down, three down. To throw, it's Brady. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. So tried to throw it in for two points, but the D got home, brought him down. Yeah, got home, which means there had to be good coverage. Just had nowhere to go with the ball. Typically, you're trying to throw quick hitters, quick slants, you know, maybe even a quick fade. Nothing was open. He ends up getting sacked. Goskowski now out to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out comes Patrick Mahomes in the Chiefs offense. And the passing game, I mean, look at the numbers. It's fallen off. When a team is struggling, sometimes you look at the quarterback. When the quarterback starts to struggle, who goes over and picks him up? Yeah, that's always a big one, isn't it? Usually... There's a quarterback whisperer somewhere. And what I mean by that is, whether it's an assistant coach, whether it's one of his best friends on the team, someone that can get in his ear, get with him and say, all right, my man, what do you need? What's going on here? So he's one person he can lean on. He's got to lean on that guy right now. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. Green, 90. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Bad he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. I know they've got to be careful not to go to the well too often, but it's a fine line, isn't it? Because sometimes, if you've got success, you want to just keep pounding away. But no success there. They rallied quickly on the defensive end. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Here we go now. Green, 39. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Dante Hightower on the stop. And this is why the head coach gets paid the big bucks. Look at where they are in this situation, partner. Do you throw the ball here in a long-distance situation? Do you run it again and trust your defense and make sure you take care of the ball and punt it away? What kind of options do you have here, and what do you trust more on your team? Yeah, they may have just pushed him back into that throwing situation. We'll see. And this is caught. That's Watkins. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. And that's how you throw for a whole heap of yards in the game. You get efforts like that from your receivers. How about him laying out for that catch? Yeah, excellent. Makes a quarterback look a whole lot better. A 
Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Ready. And on the ground they go with a running back. And he'll take this one down to the 36. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. And they'll go on the ground. And now with 152 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. The Chiefs on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This is third and nine. Everyone's got four, four down. There we go. Green. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. As they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the right hash, this from 53. And did he have enough? He did. He kept it on line and managed to tuck it into the bottom right corner. And that'll push the lead up to eight. But from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. On the return, here's a dangerous Cordero Patterson. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Tom Brady leads the offense out for their next possession. This is something we've seen many times over the course of his career. Can he pull off another fourth-quarter comeback? And it's very strange, isn't it? Because when it's a player of this magnitude, even though the guys on defense have the lead and are sitting in the best spot, 
they're maybe the most nervous people in the stadium because they've seen this happen to too many people before, too many teams. They've got to find a way to shut him down. Here we go again for the grizzled vet. He's back to throw. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Gordon. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Back to throw. And a dump off to White. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. It'll be a three-yard gain, and that'll make it a second down. Back to throw. Right side, that's complete to Gronkowski. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. The familiar refrain, Brady to Gronk for the New England first. They'll look to throw. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. I guess you can't be afraid to take those chances late in the game. He tried to fit that one in there. Nice job, though, defensively. But to your point, it was a nice job of knocking the ball away. But you're also right. You can't be afraid to take those chances. That means your guy's going downfield to catch the ball. They've got to elevate their game and come down with these in order to keep your offense moving. He'll look to throw. Goes underneath here to White. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and that is going to set up a third and one. To throw is Brady. And that is incomplete. What a great sequence by this defense so far. They've given him nowhere to go with the football. And they just have to make it stand up one more time because it appears that they've got their number. Can they not have a slip up here and allow the touchdown? One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Wait, 20! Wait, 20! Now Brady got to have this one. And Allen's got it! And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Well, how about keeping your head about you in this situation? No more timeouts. Finds a way to get out of bounds. Now they can breathe a little bit as they contemplate what to do on the next down. Now Brady. This will be caught inside the 10. And they work this near the 5. He'll be stopped at the 6. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. And he'll get up and spike it with 11 seconds remaining. And no, they can't connect on the pass. So that gets the clock down to 11. Time for probably two more plays. Got to go quickly, though. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Back to throw, Brady. To him, a sack. Sack back at the nine yard line. Justin Houston in there to get him the sixth time they've sacked him tonight. Well, no doubt an electrifying finish to have it down inside the 10 yard line. That final shot, though, they couldn't get it in the end zone. And that's all she wrote. And they had the final shot. The last snap taken that close to the end zone. They don't get it in, so they'll regret that. But flip it over, making a stand in that portion of the field, congratulations to them. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Chiefs victorious here, as we say so long from Arrowhead.